All right, in this video, I want to go over a often overlooked feature of Portage, which is its sets functionality. Now, what are sets? Well, sets are just named groups of packages. If you have installed Gentoo yourself, you have encountered sets before. In fact, the most common set that you've probably seen referred to is the at world set, which represents all the packages installed on your system. Specifically, at world actually refers to two other sets. The at system set, which is a group of all of the packages that are installed by default and represent a base install of Gentoo, and the at selected set, which are all the packages that you as an administrator have installed on your system as well as their dependencies. These two sets of packages together create a larger package, the at world set, which is everything on your PC. Now, as I said, all of these sets are just lists of packages. The set itself is just a name, like world, that's just a name that refers to a list of packages as well as a label that represents some information about that package. The at world packages are all the packages on your system. They represent the whole world. The at system packages are the packages that represent the base system and so on and so forth. Now a package can belong to more than one set as evidenced by the fact that all of the packages that are in either system or selected are also going to be in at world. And sets can be defined either by default on the system or by the user in the Etsy Portage directory. Now, as I said, there are many sets that are defined by default on your system. To get a list of the sets that are available on your system, run emerge dash dash list set. This list right here shows all the sets, all the named groups of packages that are available on your system. You can see selected here system here, world here, and several others that I didn't yet mention. All of these sets represent some group of packages and some relationship between those groups. Now the useful thing about sets is that we can use them as shorthand to refer to the groups of packages that they represent in commands like emerge. For instance, let's say that we wanted to emerge dash p to simulate all of the packages in the at system set. Enter. All right, and as you can see, that's produced a lot of output. Portage has expanded that word, at system, into the list of packages that it actually represents, and it's going to try to emerge all of those packages. That's what's really useful about sets, is the ability to refer to them directly in emerge commands so that you can have a shorthand for groups of packages that you might need to refer to often for some reason, such as the at world set. Those of you who've used Gentoo even for just a short while are probably familiar with commands like emerge dash dash sync and emerge dash udu at world to sync to the remote repositories and upgrade your entire system. That's certainly a lot faster than having to list out all the packages that you want to upgrade manually since that could potentially be hundreds of packages. Now we can define our own sets and in fact that is a very useful attribute of sets. We do that in etc portage in the sets directory. Now, unlike a lot of Etsy Portage locations, sets has to be a directory. That's because the name of the set that you're going to define is going to be the name of the file that you put in the sets directory. And the file will be a list of packages for emerge to read. So let's change directory into sets. And let's create a set file of our own. We'll call it my custom set. That should be a nice memorable name. All right, now let's say that I have some group of packages that I want to emerge together. For instance, let's say that I want to emerge all of the suckless.org programs that I have on my system. Well, I use on this system x11, wm, dwm, as well as x11, terms, st, and www, client, surf. Now this is the syntax of these files. Very simple, the same as the syntax in say package.use files or package.masking files. It's simply a package category followed by a forward slash followed by a package name. One package per line and you can name them by versions or overlays in here as well just like in other files of this kind. So we've got that list made so let's write and quit and let's try to see if it's now in our list of sets. So let's emerge dash dash list set and you can see here we have a set called my custom set and in fact we can refer to it with emerge dash p at my custom 
set. Calculate for a moment. And as you can see, it's trying to emerge three packages, DWM, SURF, and ST, just exactly as we defined in our set. This is a great way to organize packages that you may want to emerge together frequently, or that work best when emerged together for some reason. Maybe you sort them by specific use flags or something like that. Whatever the reason, if you ever want to be able to use emerge to refer to a whole group of packages of your choosing, custom sets are the way to do it. One last simple but important thing that you should probably be able to do with regards to portage sets is to see quickly what packages are in a specific set. Now the best way to do that is with the program EIX. EIX has a lot of functionality beyond listing the contents of sets, but it's really the best tool that I've found for that particular use case. Now EIX is probably not installed on Gentoo by default for you, so you'll want to add it to your system with emerge app portage EIX. Once you get EIX installed on your system, the first thing that you'll want to do is sudo for root permissions EIX update to allow EIX to create a database of your packages that it can use to refer to. Once that's done, you can get the contents of any set by simply running EIX dash dash followed by the set name, for instance, system. This will produce a list of all the packages that are associated with that set, along with a lot of additional information like a description of it and the versions that you have installed. This list is a little unwieldy to read, so if you want to get a more parsable version of it, run EIX with the dash C option. And this will produce a single line list of all of the packages associated with a given set. This is very useful for quickly referring to the contents of a set to find out what's actually in each of them. You can also use EIX to refer to custom sets that you create yourself, but the syntax for that is a little different. You would run EIX-C for the single line output, dash dash set, followed by in quotation marks the name of the set. For instance, we have the set my custom set. And that will produce a list of all of the packages that are associated with that set. And this way you can use EIX to refer to any number of sets. And that about does it for this basic video on portage sets. Now I've not covered everything with regards to this topic in this video. There's quite a bit more to sets, especially when you get into the sets.conf files where you can define specific rules for name sets. I may cover that in a future video, but it was a little too much to get to in this single video here. But hopefully this was useful to you, and uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.